I'm so sick of these niggas out here with this snitching sh shit. It's a business between the government and whoever want to tell. The government affords this opportunity. Now, I don't condone it, nor do I denounce it. I don't give a fuck. But it's a business. It's a trans. If you give something and somebody give you something for that, that's a transaction. You know what I'm saying? But then what I don't like is you got certain people, rappers and shit, snitch, 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 but they pick and choose what snitches they fuck with. They say they don't fuck with snitches, but they do. They do. You know, I could call some people out right now, but I'm not going to do that. I will call one person out. Who? All the fucking rappers that fuck with Desiree Perez. She was a snitch. She was an informant. Let's get it. She was on the front of the fucking Daily News. And she worked for Rock, you fuck with her. She mm -hmm. Rock Nation, yeah. right? Yeah. My thing is, I ain't got nothing against what she did because I don't give a fuck. It ain't, you know, affect me. But if you could fuck with her, but you want to talk about Takashi 69 as a snitch, you's a fucking hypocrite. She took down a whole goddamn cartel or whoever. He snitched on his crew who did him dirty. He in my book too, because I have a problem with that. I feed you, you got fame off of me, then you want to rob me, fuck my girl, and all this, and then when I do you dirty, it's a problem. I don't know. That's just the way, that's my perspective. That's the way I see things. People might not agree, and I don't give a fuck. But come on. Come on. Nice. Nikki Bonds. Let's get it. He created this empire for all of them to get money. He go to jail. Y'all fuck his wife. Y'all fuck his mistress. Y'all don't take care of him. He waited five years. And he hit y'all in the head. I ain't mad at that nigga. <laughs> Some people might say it's wrong. Y'all fucked his wife, his mistress, ain't give him no money and act like he ain't the one that created this uh, a way for y'all to feed y'all family. Like, come on. But they they try okay. to say that if you're in the street, you shouldn't be snitching at all. Oh, yeah? Who wrote that book? <laughs> that, that's what they say. That, Who's the that's author the, of that book? All that street code bullshit is fake. It ain't no rules. There is only one thing. You hear me? You listening? What's your name, baby? You said... Smoke. Smoke. There is only one thing, and it's called, it is, there's only a level of expectation that we have that someone should do the right thing. There ain't no book. There is a level of expectation. Now, if I'm over here hustling on 134th, and nigga, you in Queens, and you just heard about me, why are you telling on me, nigga? We don't got nothing to do with each other. Nothing. Now, I might have a problem with that. Like, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? But there is no rules. There is no street codes. There is just a level mm. of expectation that this person is going to do the right thing. And some people should. And you should. You get caught. If I'm not the reason why you got caught and you got caught because you did something stupid, nigga, do that time. Do that time. So you think um, Sakashi 69 wasn't really, since he wasn't in the streets, he shouldn't be labeled as a snitch? He wasn't a no gangster. All that was a gimmick. They knew that kid was a gang. You, this gang, brought this dude into their crew for clickbait, for, for street fame, for Instagram fame. And then when shit got rough for him, because he probably not really built like that. But then again, y'all was out there doing this nigga dirty. What do you expect? What was he supposed to do? Just eat that? I, I, I'm, I'm confused. Well, I mean, what do you expect for somebody to do? And, that, and he stood on it when he came out too. You telling everybody, yeah, he snitched out, and that's the thing about it. A lot of these, people, a lot of these people snitch. You don't know, and you don't find out to the paperwork. Let me tell you something. All snitches ain't on paper. Mm. Let's be clear. Mm. Theron is snitching. If you be like, let me tell you something. I know. Um, a couple of cops, I knew them from back in the 90s when I used to be running the streets and when I got shot and shit. They didn't really like snitches. They was like, we don't like when niggas come in here and tell, but it just helps us. It does. You know? 
And one cop said, some dudes got him on speed dial. They just tell when somebody else doing something to keep them off they ass or just because they hate a nigga. They want a nigga to get off the block. Like, it's crazy. You cannot, you will never know who told and who didn't. You just wouldn't. I'm not going to say what it is, but my ex-husband hit me <clears throat> the other day. He showed me something. We went, I went to a, his store. Let me tell you something. This ninja shit has hit a whole nother plateau. That's all I'm going to say. It's like, it's a whole program. But I just say all I have to say. And he got it. No, let me just say that he got it because somebody sent it to him. And he was, he was so disgusted. He almost, I mean, I could see in his face, he was like disgusted that this shit even exists. You would never know who's snitching. Nick, dudes is out here. Y'all dapping niggas up who tell all day, every day. You will never know who it is sometimes. You just won't. I'm going to say this. When dudes get out of jail and you be like, he should never get out. That paperwork be doctored to make it like technicalities. This program that I'm talking about has to do with that. It's crazy. And I just found this out. But well, two weeks ago, he showed it to me. It's a whole thing going on out here. All I would tell people to do, fly right. You got to do the right thing. Because, you know, and I always say, you know, some of us, you know, we hard, you know, we think we about that life until that time come. Just like Albert. Albert said the death penalty. The fuck is that? I don't want to do that. Yes, he fucking told. You know, me and him had a conversation about why he told on Wayne Perry. That'll be in the book. He felt some type of way about something, you know, that made him feel like, you know what? He could have been next. Really? Because nobody, people don't understand why he snitched on Wayne Perry. Mm -mm. That's going to be in and your that's book? that's another thing. People, all, people always talking and don't even know the full story about nothing. They just get a little bit of information and they just run with it, which is crazy. Like, you know, my thing with uh, my community, a black community, mm -hmm. black and brown community, that's all y'all got to talk about. Like, y'all ain't got nothing else. Like, your vocabulary is not strong enough to talk about anything else but snitching. If I had a man and all the fuck he talk about is a nigga snitching, I'm snapping the shit out of him and like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Like, I bet I never hear you in no conversation like that because you ain't got nothing else to talk about. It's crazy. That's what you teach your kids. Like, it's nothing else. That's all they talking about now. If you look in the media, that's all they talking about. They talking about people's paperwork. Um, that's they, crazy. They actually put out a list of the salaries these informants get paid yearly. It'd be like, it's crazy, it's like $86,000 a year. I don't know what, but they do get taken care of. Alvin broke that down to me too. Oh, they do get taken care of. <laughs> I mean, sometimes some niggas get more money snitching than they made on the street. <laughs> and it's crazy, what you said earlier, there's no paperwork either. At, at the end of the day, it's a business. They gave you something, now they gonna take care of you. That's a business. And nothing documented, no paperwork, nothing. Nothing. No, nobody could look it up. Nobody could look that up as far as what you get, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think. But yeah, it, it's, it's, listen, on, only thing that I can say is stay the fuck out of trouble and know who, keep your circle very small. So if something happens, you already know where it came from. I know somebody who has, not just somebody, I know a few people who has under the radar been out here for years, 20, 30 years without any police contact, doing a thing because they chill. Everybody, they don't, you know, they're not trying to be seen. They don't have no Instagram, no social media. They just do their thing. And they quiet about it. And if they get hemmed up, they know where it came from. But you got some people that want to be seen and heard all day. I don't know why. 